The scheduled power cuts are a frustration for most of us. Uh, it's a boon for criminals as well, but many of them are taking advantage of long blackouts to target homes as well as businesses. Women are also in danger in many communities as they have to traverse the dimly lit streets. We do have our reporter, Bafedile Moirani, who is speaking to communities and, and she joins us now. Uh, Bafedile, where exactly are you now? We are actually at Melrose here, a, a, a very serious traffic congestion that we are seeing. And what is worsening the situation at this point, if you can see behind me there, there is a Patco bus. This Patco bus got stuck earlier on um, there, and then it later rolled over. Now it has stopped traffic. It's just a mess where we are here. And uh, with the issue of load shedding, having to... Um, be uh, on place at this point it's really a mess a lot of people on the ground having to share the same sentiment saying that they are really frustrated with this stage um, sex load shedding and having to raise concerns that um, it's really causing um, fear for them because a lot of criminals are really taking advantage at this point in time in particular uh, on the roads uh, here uh, people are being hijacked and uh, Smash and grab, it's really uh, very high at this point. If you look at what's happening here, a lot of people now having to make their way to work. Traffic gets really congested at this point. And uh, the number of them that we spoke to earlier on having to say that they are really running late. When we tried to engage them, they couldn't even get some time to speak to us um, on camera. So we are seeing uh, traffic officials, JMPD officials having to descend down here to ensure that there's a smooth traffic at this point in time. So um, there's an, an article that I read uh, from the internet where one of the biggest security services in the country was actually raising concerns and also the insurance is also having to raise concerns to say that they, um, there's, a, there's a high claim uh, and that is mainly because of the load shedding mainly because security, uh, the security is compromised and uh, criminals are actually taking advantage of the situation. People having to resort to use generators among others and at midnight we know that the fuel hikes, um, we are going to have the fuel hikes as the country. Now things are really expensive, making things quite difficult for South Africans having to suffer uh, to that extent. Now we engaged a number of people on the ground earlier on here, Tammy. Let us listen to what they said to us. Even mugging is everywhere, mostly townships, areas are going through a lot. Even small business, people like uh, the people who are doing here, it's very difficult to survive. <laughs> Those are just some of the individuals that you managed to speak to, Bafedile, uh, in the area where you're at right now. But I found it quite interesting. When we spoke last time, behind you, I could see some individuals dressed in the outsurance uh, regalia uh, who were meant to be directing traffic, but they were sitting on the side of the road. Is there somebody who's actually directing traffic there? Well, um, those officials are here on the ground and they have also called the backup of traffic officials, JMPD officials, to ensure that traffic is uh, flowing smoothly in this intersection. Earlier on, I alluded to say that there is a Patco bus that has stuck in the middle of the road, having to um, disturb traffic. 
there, as you see on the pictures, um, it's, it's really a hectic mayhem that we are, we are actually encountering here. And also the motorists that we spoke to having to raise concern that now because of load shedding, we have to wake up very early in the morning, such an inconvenience. We have to wake up early to prepare at home for us to go to work. We have to wake up very early to prepare for the kids when they go to school and also trying by all means to avoid traffic. Now, at this point in time, we're seeing officials having to try their level best, but it's still going to take a very long time to ensure that this uh, Patco bus is being removed from here. There's one man who actually had an um, encountered an accident um, when this uh, bus was rolling over. It hit his car at the back, and he has really raised concern and having to cry foul to say that, just imagine my car is still very new at this point, and I was in the plan also of having to sell it. Now look at the situation, look at what is happening. A lot of people on the ground having to raise same uh, concerns, sharing same sentiments that I mean, crying foul to say that um, it's really a serious concern. Load shedding, it's really uh, taking a lot from their pockets. Later, uh, earlier on, I spoke about the issues of fuel that a lot of people in the country have also uh, started using generators, but now they have to dig deeper and uh, to buy fuel. And we have seen in a number of instances people having to migrate uh, from ESCOM and now having to use solar panels. That is actually leaving municipalities with a lot of debt. Um, uh, I've seen in one of the municipalities in the northwest where they are crying to say that we are left with billions of rent owed to ESCOM as a lot of people are now migrating to solar Panel. So it's really uh, a very much chaotic um, situation in the country, uh, a situation that people on the ground are calling to government to really intervene um, as soon as possible. People are saying that they were really hoping that the situation will be better at this point, in particular because um, winter, uh, it's no longer winter at this point, but it seems that the situation is, is exacerbating. We, have the, we had the Minister of Electricity yesterday, Kosento Ramokopa, having to um, highlight the number of challenges and issues, but it looks like we still have a long way to go as South Africans. Bafedile Moirani, thank you so much uh, for that update on the road. But uh, I, I must say, Gareth, it does look that, like there is a semblance of order that's coming out uh, from this particular intersection. Uh, earlier on, it, it looked stuck. It looked like it literally was not moving. Yeah. But in a matter of a few minutes, I, then we did see um, the officials there actually directing the traffic. So that does help. Yeah, actually a bit of a contraflow having to, because that bus is in that intersection. I think it's Call It Drive. We it's were talking it about drive, it. Yes. Uh, heading towards the highway. It uh, looks like uh, JMPD, along with Outsurance, who were there earlier, actually creating a contraflow. So maybe we'll get to traffic in a bit. But if you haven't left home, you use Call It Drive. Uh, the best of luck to you, because that's going to be messy this morning.